Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will solve our first exercise on two dimensional arrays. And this is the exercise. I want you to write a program that prints the sum of each row in a 2D array. And after you do this, I want you to resolve the exercise and to print the sum of each column. Let's see an example. Suppose that you have this array over here. So the first program should display this. The sum of the first row is 10, the second row is 26, and the last row is 42. And as you can see, for example, this is the first row over here. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 will give us 10, okay? Now the second program should display this. The sum of the first column is 15, then the second one is 18, then 21, and the last one is 24. For example, this over here is the third column. 3 plus 7 plus 11 is equal to 21, okay? So pause the video and try to do this. So let's go to IntelliJ. Okay, so we have this array over here. Now we want to get the sum of each row. In other words, we want to iterate over each row and get the sum and print it. So in this case, we will iterate over this array row by row. So let's get started. We will use a for loop starting from zero. And because we want to iterate row by row, i will be less than the number of the rows, which is three, and then i plus plus. Now inside this loop, we want to get the sum of the elements inside the current row. So let's declare a variable that is called sum and of course it will start from zero. And after that, we will iterate over all the elements in the current row. So we will use another loop which is responsible for iterating over the columns in the current row. So we will iterate over the elements in the current row. So let's use a variable j starting from zero and the j will be less than the number of the columns. In this case, we have four columns and after that j plus plus. Each time we want to add the current element to the variable sum. So let's add to the variable sum integers sub i sub j. So we will use i over here because i is the index of the row and j over here because j is the index of the column. Now, after our inner loop finishes executing, we will have the sum of the current row inside the variable sum. So we will print it. So let's use the println method and let's say the sum of row and now we'll put the number of the row, which is i plus one. And after that, let's concatenate a column, then a space and then the sum. So we'll use the variable sum. So let's run this program. And as you can see, the sum of row 1 is equal to 10, then 26, and then 42. So our program is working. So let's see what's happening exactly. We are iterating row by row, and each time we are declaring a variable that is called sum starting from 0. And the position of declaring this variable is very important. Because each time we start a new iteration, we are declaring a new variable sum which is equal to 0. After that, we are adding all the elements to this variable sum, and then we are printing it. Now let's make a small change. I will declare this variable outside the loop, all right? Now what's happening? In the first iteration of our outer loop, we will add all the elements of the first row to the variable sum. And then in the second iteration, we will add all the elements of the second row to the variable sum. So now the variable sum contains the sum of the first row and the second row. And in the last iteration, we will add the elements of the third row to the variable sum. So now the variable sum contains the sum of all the elements inside the array. This is why I declared the variable sum inside our outer loop. Because if we declare the variable sum inside the outer loop, then the scope of the variable sum is the outer loop. So at the end of each iteration of the outer loop, this variable sum will be deallocated from the memory. Because at the end of the outer loop, the scope of this variable ends. So when we are executing the next iteration, we are declaring a new variable. And the previous variable was destroyed or deallocated, okay? Now suppose that you want to declare the variable sum outside the loop. Then to solve this exercise, all you have to do is to assign this variable to be equal to zero each time we start iterating. So now in the first iteration, the variable sum will be assigned to be equal to zero, and then we will get the sum of the first row and print it. And in the second iteration, we will reassign the variable sum to be equal to zero. And after that, the same thing will happen, okay? So let's run the program, and as you can see, we have the same result. Now let's modify this program to print the sum of each column. So in this case, we want to iterate over the 2D array column by column. So the outer loop will iterate over the number of the columns, which is equal to four, and the inner loop will iterate over the number of the rows, which is equal to three. And after that, we have to change these indices. The index of the row is J and the index of the column is I. And this is it. So over here, let's print the sum of column, and this is it. So let's run the program, and this is our output. So this is it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.